Of course, the Dave Glover show here from uh, three to seven every day. And Dave, thank you for uh, for your thoughts on this. You you heard Al Watkins. I mm-hmm. thought that was a pretty measured response. To yes. This. No. I, I I have no problem with that. That uh, he respects the judge. He respects the law. He disagrees with the outcome of the case. Great. Let's go see you too. Yeah. I mean, that's the way it should be. It right. really should be that way. That um, when things go bad in our society, whether it's you run into me with a car and I sue you and we go before a jury or a judge, or it's a drug dealer leads a high-speed chase through the the streets of St. Louis and the cops catch him and shoot him and someone says, I think they planted the gun. I think this is murder. Okay, let's charge him. Let's go to a judge. When this happens, this is what we do. And what should happen is when a judge or a jury rules, at worst, we should bitch. (laughs) At worst, it should be, are you kidding me? O.J. Simpson, with all that evidence, that's what should happen. It's ridiculous that this is going on. And Lida Krusen, my lord, I'm disgusted by that. I'm disgusted by her, her statement. Yeah, yeah, just uh, just her tweet alone. I mean, I I read the tweet before I read her statement. This is the tweet from Mayor Lyda Cruson. I am appalled at what happened to Anthony Lamar Smith. Everybody sh- is not nobody's happy the guy died. She continues, I'm appalled at what happened, sobered by this outcome, frustration, anger, hurt, pain, hope, and love all intermingle. What the hell does that mean? It, it means I'm catering to who I think is going to vote for me next, and <laughs> yeah. it, it makes me yeah. sick to my stomach. You know what I'm appalled by? I'm appalled by drug dealers who run from the police and put everyone in danger, the police and everyone else. I'm appalled by that. So Watkins is representing the fiancé because this guy was going on to become a doctor. I, I mean, for the love. Can we just be real for a second? Can we just be real for a second? Look, I've seen the video. The video's weird. It's weird when he goes back to to the cruiser and he gets in a duffel bag. I don't know what he's doing. I'm not a police officer. I don't understand. Do, 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 Do police officers murder people? Yes. Has it happened? Yes. Did it happen in this case? Maybe. I don't know. All I know is that it became an issue in court and a very good judge looked at all the evidence and ruled on it. That's what I know. So in this case, legally, the guy is innocent. And and that's that's all that should matter. Now, when you, I went down earlier. Tony Colombo, I'm sure, will have some reports on your show later. I went down earlier, and I, I interviewed some of the protesters who showed up. And, Liz, if you can get to cut number 15 for me. This is a, a young lady that I interviewed down there um, who who told me there was he the gun was planted she's convinced is th- the sky is blue that there was a gun planted and convincing her otherwise trying to convince her otherwise only served to get her angry at me let, let play the bite um what uh, what brought you down here today uh, what brought me down here today i stay in st louis missouri i'm a teen i've witnessed all over america my youth people that are in my age group that's getting killed by police nothing is being happened people of my color nothing is happening they kill us down like we dogs in the street and they get away with murder he planted a gun on him how do you get a fingerprint up under there even if it is a partial print how you can't tell me that that's not plenty why do why the f this is bull they get away with killing us but you got to understand they you taking these people to trial and they're winning in the courtroom. These are the people that we voting for. So if you want to make a difference, get out there and vote. Amen. If you feel like these people life means something, show we. See, see, I, I think she's headed in the right direction there, but trying to convince her that the gun wasn't planted, it's it, a it's a mood issue. It's a I, I love this. <laughs> this woman is a microcosm of what's going on in society. And let me just say this. Everyone has that crazy family member or friend who just, there's no sense trying to reason with them. Right. And, and eventually you, you just, you go, you have an epiphany and you go, oh my God, I'm wasting my time. <laughs> I can work around them. I don't have to get rid of them in my life, but come on. That's what's happening in society. This woman and people like her, it doesn't mean all black people. It just means people like her who say like, Look, I don't know anything about this case, but I do know that they planted the gun. Yeah. <laughs> they we can only work around them. We can only manage them. The same way 
that people on the far right who say everything Trump does is inspired by the word of God. Like you can only work around these people. You can't really reason with them. But that's what we're seeing right now. Are there people downtown marching right now who are there for the right reason, who know this case inside and out, and who truly think there's been a miscarriage of justice? Yes. My gut is it's about 10%. Well, let me tell you how, and I want to, as a as an attorney, a former attorney, because you told me you're a recovering attorney, right? Yes. Yeah, I thought so. Uh, I wanted you Every to- Every day's a struggle. I wanted to get your reaction to what the circuit attorney, Kim Gardner, said about what needs to happen in the future to change the outcome of cases like this, right? This is what I thought was interesting. Um, let's go to cut number 11, where she talks about uh, needing an independent investigative body for all police-related shootings. But we need to have an independent and fair investigation in these cases because they are difficult. There's an uphill battle in terms of officer-involved shootings. So I think we need to move this city forward to have a truly independent investigation. What would that look like? That would look like an independent body led by this office to go to the scenes and investigate these cases to seek the truth, to determine whether criminal charges should be pursued by this office. Sometimes people go into public service because they want to serve, and sometimes they go in because they did bad in law school. <laughs> that's all I have to say about that. I, I just I don't I don't get it. I mean that that's the prosecutor calling her own investigation into question, right? She's saying that the people that investigated this, the police, the Department of Justice, and then again the prosecutors when they looked at the case again, did a bad job. And if I'd just been able to point somebody independently to look at it. Uh, we would have convicted him. Everything in life, Mark, as you well know, has become the standard is now, but I don't like that. But I, but no, you're not listening to me. I don't like what you're saying. <laughs> right. Well, I have the, hey, hey, shut up. I don't like it. I didn't like the outcome of this investigation. So what I want is a super double secret invisible ninja investigation. <laughs> shut up. God. Stupid people make me nuts. Boy, I know. That's Just make truth. me nuts. Every, and we see it every day now. Every we day. see it every day. So downtown right now, we're, we're continuing to watch um, uh, live coverage of this on the local television stations. Channel 2's got a video of folks um, marching down the street with their hands in the air. We're assuming that's a hands up, don't shoot reference from the Ferguson case. Um, uh, it, the crowd continues to grow. I, I was estimating earlier there were probably 100, 125 people marching who tried to shut down the interstate. Why are they telling you and Tony, like, we got caught by surprise? We thought there was going to be an afternoon. Uh, yeah, there was a guy down there who was who was um, clearly part of the crowd, but who told me he's connected on social media to a lot of the folks who plan to come and protest, and they all bought into the 3 p.m. decision, and right. they hadn't made it downtown yet. But, you know, it's been three and a half hours now. I'm a little surprised the crowd is not larger than it is. They, they've they're had plenty of time the to respond. Breakfast bar. Yeah, they they thought they had plenty of time, so you know. Let, let's hope. Sizzler. Let, let's hope that um, it, it doesn't get any bigger. But it's gonna. Yeah, it, it's by gonna. my show, it's going to be melting down. Um, I will almost guarantee you that by seven p.m. there things will be on fire. Dave Glover, thank you for your time. Be up, buddy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Stick around for the uh, Dave Glover Show, of course, following my show this afternoon at three o'clock, uh, three to seven, right here, and they'll have full coverage as well because Tony Columbo.